Hey guys, I'm Alina with Awaken Catholic and this is Awaken the Saint. Sometimes we need to be reminded of the supernatural aspects of this world. As the daily grind and worldly temptations consume our focus in this modern era, it's so easy to set aside the mysteries that can inspire our souls to reach for more. These supernatural parts of life encourage us to trust in more than the tangible here and now. Jose Maria Escriva wrote, People see only the flat surface. Their vision is two-dimensional and fixed to the ground. When you live a supernatural life, God will give you the third dimension and with it, perspective. Today, I would like to remind you that there are awesome mysteries all around us, proclaiming that God exists and is active in this world even now. Saint Janarius was born in the third century. Not much is known about his early life, but we do know that he was born in Italy and became a priest at the age of only 15. By the time he was 20, he became the Bishop of Naples. During the persecutions of Christians by Emperor Diocletian, Janarius hid his fellow Christians and prevented them from being caught. Eventually, he was captured and he and his colleagues were condemned to be thrown to wild bears. Legend has it that the bears refused to eat the Christians and so the animals were killed and Saint Janarius was beheaded with his colleagues instead. Okay, so on to the supernatural part of this saint's story. Today in Naples, Italy, there is a vial of his blood on display in the Naples Cathedral. It is stored in an airtight four inch glass container and is preserved in a double reliquary. Naturally, it's dried up blood since it's centuries old. However, the blood liquefies miraculously 18 times during the year. And I quote, Various thermal experiments as well as spectroscopic analysis have been applied to the contents of the reliquary, but the phenomenon eludes natural explanation. As I get older and more consumed with earthly responsibilities, the mysteries seem further and further from reality. I have seen my own heart harden as making meals day in and day out, doing laundry, working to make ends meet, numbs me to the miraculous. Prayer becomes dust in our mouths. The emotion and love for God and the otherworldly dries up in us like the blood of St. Janarius. I'm realizing more and more the importance of filling my heart up with things that stir the wonder in my soul again. Whether it's learning about Eucharistic miracles or or miraculous healings in the last century, or just stepping away from the mundane to be awed by God's creation. These things are necessary for our souls to see clearly. Just looking up at the moon can be a supernatural reminder of how there has to be more than this, and we so desperately need these reminders. Friends, I encourage you and myself today to take 10 minutes to restore wonder to your weary soul. Listen to the wind in the trees. Look up Eucharistic miracles on YouTube. Let's pray for eyes to see beyond the mundane to restore us to childlike vision where the mystery still stirs our hearts to sing and to create and to believe. Saint Genarius, ora pro nobis.